<laughs> I'm sitting at the edge of a stairway in our house that goes down to the downstairs floor. It's one flight and then it's another flight down. Now, OCD, as we all know, it always lies. But you know, we buy into those lies. I do. And it just keeps picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up more lies, more lies, more lies, right into anxiety. But I want to show you how it does it and then how you can stop it. It has to take practice like everything else, but this is how you can stop it. So here's a little demonstration. Tennis ball. I'm going to write fear on it. Fear. That's what OCD is. It creates fear. I'm going to see what happens to this tennis ball when I throw it down. Bang. A fear, a thought, gains momentum on top of itself. Okay, I'm going to go follow that and see what happened. So wait a minute. I picked up the fear ball, but now it has all kinds of other stuff on it. Fear, panic, shame. Well, that was weird. Let's try this again. Ah, guilt, blame, judgment. Not so sure I want to follow this stuff. I keep getting more of what I don't want. Well, let's try this. Bang. I'm not following it. Nope. In fact, this time I'm going to walk away from it. I'm going to distract. But you got to refocus. Distract. Distraction. It's one of the things I do. Facebook. But if I can get myself out, that really works too. And if, especially if it's among people. If there's some people, then you know you're not alone. And many times I just have to sit down and calm down with some television. What's on? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, my kind of stuff. Okay, I've calmed down enough. Let's see what happened to this. This one, this ball that I threw down here. Wait a minute. There's nothing on it nothing on it. That's, if a thought doesn't give you inner peace, don't follow it. That's the game. That's the trick. That's the practice. All right, see you next time. Maybe we'll use footballs next time. <laughs> Thanks a lot.